ईश्वराय विमहे सत्यदेवाय धीमह तचोदया ओ साईश्वराय विमहे सत्यदेवाय धीमह तचोदया ओ साईश्वराय विमह सत्यदेवाय धीमह स्पीकर Or, or I should say, probably most uh, in most cases, uh, it takes a bit of conversation to uh, introduce what Sai Govind Satsang is all about, and then see if the speaker is comfortable. But there are those occasions where all you do is type a, a message, Sai Ram, brother. Would you like to speak in a series involving alumni? We have been having this for some time, and the answer immediately is yes, and that shows the. love for swami that also shows that the opportunity to reminisce gives us a, a deep sense of introspection and gratitude for the journey that has been with mother sai and today's speaker is whom i'm talking about where the yes comes spontaneously there's no hesitation there is no thought can i could i will this time work nothing just a simple yes and those are conversations that i love having because it also puts you into that frame to understand how much love we have for this wonderful lord let me introduce the speaker for today uh he hails from mumbai was blessed to complete 9 years of balvikas studies and was subsequently blessed to also study or uh, complete his mba from the sri satya sai institute of higher learning he also completed a degree certificate awarded by the sri satya sai institute of higher learning in instrumental tabla and sitar he has been awarded certificates at various levels in instrumental tabla and harmonium he was blessed to learn from stalwarts such as sri kiran vyas sri nishikant uh, barotkar and sri satyajit talwalkar during his student days i'm sure you will recognize him when when he comes on when he, when he starts talking he has been blessed to accompany various top artists uh during their performances in swami's presence including begum parveen sultana dana glispi kunal and gayatri ganjawala devki pandit ajneesh rai ravraj nasri to name a few he currently works with the icica bank but most importantly he is known to us as that person who keeps magnificent rhythm and adds that beauty uh, to music when it happens on stage every time in front of swami presenting to you brother niranjan kanadia sairam to you brother sairam om shri sairam गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात परत ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरु वे नम ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरिण्यम भर्गो देव से धीमे धीयो यो न प्रचुरिया ऑफरिंग माई लविंग सैल्यूटेशन एट द डिवाइन लोटस फीट ऑफ अवर बिलवेड भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा आई प्रे टू हिम दैट ही स्पीक्स थ्रू मी Uh, respected elders my dear brothers and sisters saram to all of you uh, firstly uh, thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity to share my uh, experiences with swami 
so uh, the topic of today's satsang uh, what i've thought is bhagwan has lived among us bhagwan has blessed all of us physically he has tried giving us lot of messages through his own life and he himself has also said that my life is my message so i thought that without you know taking you know much thought about it uh, i will share my experiences and through that experiences only uh, what swami has you know taught us can be conveyed to all the devotees because it is the the time what we have spent with swami as a student or as a devotee that is the treasure of of our life because the proximity what we have got with bhagwan it is actually a treasure uh, which was there written somewhere in in the book uh, you know but then when opportunity was is being given to me to you know to speak about swami so it is like i'm just opening out other treasure of my life you know so that is how uh, you know the topic is uh, my life is my message so let me uh, you know i mean uh, within the within the given time i will try to share my uh, experiences uh, as much as possible so let me just start the satsang by giving a brief introduction of uh, our family and how we became devotee of swami it was in 1979 the few devotees from bombay decided to do a pad yatra to puttaparthi and uh, they had heard about satya sai baba but uh, they had never got any interaction opportunity of uh, interacting uh, with swami and uh, they decided ki we will will do a pad yatra and go to puttaparthi that point of time my my father was not part of that group but then once they they completed the pad yatra from bombay to shirdi shirdi to pandarpur and uh, to puttaparthi they got a good opportunity of interacting with swami in physical presence swami invited them for an interview and uh, swami blessed them abundantly so once that particular group of devotees or or what we call it as boys when they came to bombay uh, it became it became a very very you know uh, famous that you know swami has recognized this this group and uh, uh, swami has given them lot of love by by giving them interview uh, darshan sparshan sambhashan everything our family was a middle class family my father was doing job and uh, one devotee had given him uh, one small photograph of shridhar sai baba and uh, it was kept in the in the altar one of the days they saw a vibhuti uh, uh, coming uh, appearing in, in that particular photograph so my grandmother did not know what exactly it is you know uh, so he told my grandfather that uh, something is there uh, in the photograph so my grandfather uh, did not know anything you know uh, ki there is something like vibhuti also so he told my grandmother ki you remove this uh, vibhuti uh, it is and and throw it and so that's what my grandmother did and uh, next day again it appeared and that point of time my grandmother told my father that uh something is there something has appeared on the photograph so he called up one of the devotees very old uh, devotees of of uh, swami and he said ki you are you have been blessed that swami has come to your house uh, uh in uh, you know uh, in a subtle form 
and he has blessed her house by by you know uh, spreading a vibhuti on the on the photograph so that's how the journey started and then my father also joined the bombay walking group and uh, he became became member of it and uh, he whenever they went to uh, prashant nilayam uh, swami used to bless them with lot of love and uh, yes, so this is the photo of the bombay walking group boys you know uh, you know reaching the puttaparthi and uh, uh, you know the swami used to bless them with lot of love and uh, swami used to interact with them uh, swami used to share a uh, lot of uh, talks on on spirituality swami used to you know allow them to do pat seva and so they swami used to call them bombay walking group boys this is what the name swami had given them in the background what you see is is swami is you know uh, uh, giving them a vibhuti package swami uh, you know giving them uh, you know talk on on spirituality uh, swami used to tell them you know uh, ki you are doing lot of uh, you are doing lot of sacrifices and you are you know coming all the way to prashant nilayam by walk swami is really very happy so uh, i mean this was just a brief introduction about how we became became a devotee and uh, but then uh, the real story begins uh, when i was praying to swami that swami i want to become become your student now uh, i mean it was just that he we uh, you know but kind of i had studied in a vernacular medium and uh, it was it was kind of he whenever my parents used to you know take uh, me to puttaparthi i used to see students getting so many chances so many opportunities to be close to bhagwan uh, and uh, so i was a balika student but uh, not too much uh, great in studies uh, i can say that and uh, i had though i had completed 9 years of balvikas but uh, i was slightly you know kind of naughty in terms of my my uh, uh, character uh, not much focused towards studies but then it was just that when we used to see students uh, there uh, my father used to tell me uh, ki, you know you have to be very good in studies you have to get good marks then only you will be kind of you Uh, you can become a student so uh the swami in 1989 uh we went to puttaparthi and uh, swami uh did swami called us for an interview a family interview and so there are there were around 8 to 9 families uh, from mumbai who had uh, been to puttaparthi to seek swami's blessings so that point of time my father prayed to swami that uh, you know uh, swami please perform third ceremony of my uh, uh, both the both the children both the sons so swami lovingly out of his love he said theek hai kal leke aao third ceremony karta hai so uh, uh, we we didn't have anything like upanayanam uh, like uh, 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 what we traditional dhoti and uh, angavastram etc so we my pa- parent father went out and immediately got it the next day morning swami uh, called us for an interview and he performed the third ceremony uh, so swami himself materialized uh, thread and uh, he he with so much love with so much affection towards us uh, he you know spoke with us that point of time Uh, being being a childish uh, you know i was very very childish and i was not very serious about you know uh, and i was not feeling ki you know ki uh, uh, i am in front of bhagwan i am in front of satya sai baba but then if you see the 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 photograph in the background sami was was having such, so many light moments with us sami uh, uh, there was something happened that uh, sami was you know making fun of of everybody 
especially you know my father and mother so a lot of light moments we had and then after the third ceremony uh, uh during the third ceremony of course i should not be forgetting swami uh, in in his one hand uh, 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 he he held the thread in another hand my mother and my father three of three of them held the thread and then he he even narrated uh, the uh, he gave us a guru mantra so first he spoke then he asked us to uh, repeat he so that way he he gave us a guru mantra uh, which was uh, gayatri mantra uh, we are so lucky we feel really so you know privileged that bhagwan has himself performed the thread, our thread ceremony and uh, the, he, he uh, gave us the mantra and after the thread ceremony you know he he so lovingly uh, called bo- both of us and uh, he it, uh, got the photograph uh, gave us the photograph so this was the this was the thre- uh, thread ceremony episode uh, so we completed the 9 years of balvikas and uh, the, the desire was always there you know i want to become a student of of swami so that i get a good opportunity but then it was swami's divine sankalpa or swami's perfect plan to make me student when he wants to so swami always says uh, devotees test is my taste so he kept on taking my test you know every time whenever i used to go to puttaparthi or brindavan <clears throat> during our holidays time sami would talk sami would take a letter but then it was not materializing that you know that my father applied on my behalf for 11th class admission 12th class admission uh, but i never uh, i do i got a got a call but i could not clear the written test examination i kept on praying to sami sami even though i have completed my 12th you again give me admission from 11th i am ready to uh, you know let go my two years of my studies but then i want to become student but that did not happen then i joined for first year bachelor of commerce in bombay and second year also and finally came the final year become examination pray to swami that swami uh, i i think so it is it, it is not possible for me to become student and uh, i am ready to give up now this is the only only thing i kind of uh, uh, think at this point of time because after completing my graduation the next was uh, uh, was a post graduation which is but obviously it was mba in my mind and that is the only thing which i could think of being a commerce graduate so it so happened that uh, that was 75th birthday of swami and uh, i mentally decided that you know ki uh, maybe i may become a student in next birth because this birth it is not possible so with the heavy heart i said ki let me attend swami's birthday and uh this could be probably my last visit and i was kind of disappointed that swami didn't listen to my prayers and uh, uh and i am unable to kind of uh, uh become a student i'll go to i will go to celebrate swami's birthday and then i will come back and i'll focus on my my studies and final examination because the the board examinations were in the month of april uh, beginning of april or end of april, mid april sometimes of 2001 it so happened that in 2000 19 uh, november 2000 swami inaugurated meerpuri college and uh, i was physically present there and uh, i saw that you know ki another building coming up something swami's mission is like you know going uh, uh, in different direction one more campus is uh, one more college has got added but i am the the the, uh, the you know the unlucky one the misfortunate one that i am not even getting a chance to become a student so uh, i came back to bombay after completing uh, 
celebrating Sami's birthday. And uh, I was preparing for my examinations, final year examinations. So somewhere in the month of month of April, uh, one devotee uh, he comes to me and uh, he says that you know, uh, since he knew our background that we had done little bit of uh, you know music uh, studies and we had learned uh, classical music. Uh, uh, in my case, it was instrumental tabla and little bit of harmonium. So he said, "Ki hey, dekho, academics me to tum student uh, academics is difficult for you to become a student." But then why don't you try for uh, becoming student in music college? Uh, so, I mean, uh, out of the blue, uh, uh, it, he offers me to apply for for music college uh, course. That point of time, I didn't even know. I was, uh, he music college is starting in 2001. He said, Ki, you speak to your parents and if your parents are kind of uh, give you a permission, then you, I can apply for, uh, we can apply. So I spoke to my parents, parents luckily said, Ki, uh, okay, fine, you can, you can kind of try. If you get an admission, uh, you are lucky. Uh, so that's how I apply. Uh, I applied. I didn't even, you know, have a time to fill up the application form. So uh, the one I call it is my mentor, my, my, my guide is the one uh, was an was an instrument because of which I got that tag of student, and I'm I'm really thankful to him uh, for the entire life. So he fills up the form and he comes uh, come to comes to my house and he takes my signature and he applies and I gets a gets a call letter from uh, uh, from there. Now comes a uh, time of going for an entrance exam, you know, and uh, now the time period of my ex board exam and the interview at Puttaparthi for music college, both clashes at the same time. Now, if so board examination, of course, is a is a is a most important thing, I cannot miss my examination and go to Puttaparthi and give give entrance test over there. So I, I, I thought Ki, this is gone. I mean, this is not going to happen. I will not be able to uh, go to Puttaparthi at all because board examination is a board examination. It so happens that when the timetable came, I get, I got 11 days holidays between my second last and last exam. So normally uh, in, uh, for students to study, uh, prepare for examination, they get one or two days holidays. Uh, they don't get 11 days holidays. But that year, maybe for some political election, uh, some local elections, they wanted to use the uh, the school premises for, for voting purpose. So 11 days, the examination got postponed. The Only the second last and last one. And in between, my calendar was set for me to go to Puttaparthi appear for, uh, uh, you know, entrance test and come back and give the final exam. So luckily it happened. It is, I have never heard, you know, any students or any uh, board uh, uh, giving 11 days holidays, but this is called as divine sankalpa or divine will to call me to put up and I, so during this time, I goes to Parthi, uh, appeared for an interview. Then there was a, another round of interview where the vice chancellor, the senior faculties of institute, the principals are of music college, everybody was there. So they asked me a question that, you know, you are uh, from Bombay, you have done uh, completing graduation. Now it's a time for you to do MBA. Why do you want to kind of spend three years in music? So my answer was set. My answer, okay, I want to become student of Bhagwan Shri Sai Baba and I want to make my career in music. And though it was a first year, they being uh, kind of, you know, they also wanted a student. So they graced me with the, with the seat. So all about that, it was, it was, it was only Swami who wanted me to, you know, come to Parthi and become a student. So I appeared for, for uh, uh, cleared all uh, examinations and 
came to bombay my final exam also i gave in bombay board exam everything is done so by the time you know i uh, i'm about to apply for a for a post graduation course in in uh, bombay i get the uh, uh, the appointment letter that i am been selected for the diploma course in music college so this is how uh, you know then the then the i felt you know the moment has come to live a real life with with bhagwan no 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 not thinking of anything else just just follow the follow the uh, the swami's path become student and i reach to put a party now uh, just to kind of uh, kind of sacrifice is what i have uh, done to become a student uh, so there is a there is a good lesson for all the devotees or all all students uh, to uh, uh, get from this is that ki when as i said ki devotees test is my taste bhagwan always always says we always think that ki bhagwan does not listen to uh, many times it back, becomes that uh, swami does not uh, you know listen we think that swami does not listen to your prayers or uh, your pray- prayers are not reaching to to swami but it is wrong bhagwan is listening to all your prayers when i was not getting getting swami's uh, seat in swami's college every week every thursday i used to read, write a letter to swami that swami please i want to become student i want to be close to you and i used to post it without having any other thought in mind whether that letter is reaching to swami whether swami is reading or not reading just believe blindly have faith in him swami always will give you on time it the delays are not denials the swami knows the perfect time when and how to give he will always be there on that time and it is it is true as on date also that you pray from the real heart you pray sincerely just just sit five five minutes in a day close your eyes and just pray to him or think about him he is there with you you really feel connected even today now the story uh, i just would like to share share my experiences as a student now i have already become a student i have got that that tag so uh, in the music college uh, it it used to it was it was a first batch of so uh, of music college it was a fully 20 students batch uh, where the 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 students were like from different different age you know so there were two courses foundation course is for the beginners and diploma is for the li- li- little more senior than than the foundation course so me being being lit- the senior one uh, i had uh, i had uh, applied for the diploma course now swami was so affectionate swami was so loving swami gave us lot of opportunities uh, he used to every day visit music college campus music college uh, you know uh, uh, yeah so this is what we see uh, this is the museum building amongst us swami would give us uh, you know uh, uh, lecture on on how to do practice how what should be your day plan how we should practice and then for for a, there were two categories of of students like one were the the hindustani uh, music uh, music boys another was the classical south indian uh, south music so so he used to tell ki how to uh, singers how they should practice how tabla players should should do practice so the the most important thing was that uh, the proximity of swami was was the most important thing that bhagwan lovingly he used to come every day morning spend half an hour one hour just to spend time with us motivate us 
and they were just to tell you they were they were students which were just as freshers as you know uh, and uh, you know the first standard students in music in the field of music some used to tell them you practice well Swami will give you a chance to perform in in Kulvant Hall in front of all the devotees. Swami used to tell, you know, that there are so many musicians, uh, uh, you know, craving to play perform in front of us, in in front of me, but they are not getting a chance. But you students are so lucky; you are getting getting so many chances. so uh, as i said ki we were just a 20 students uh, in in the first batch so one of the days uh, bhagwan calls the principal of uh, music college uh, krishna murthy sir for an for an interview i was the lucky one where swami said ki that bombay boy ko bulao so fortunately i also uh, got an opportunity to go inside in the interview room there i saw a different swami uh, in the sense that uh, bhagwan was was behaving like a like an academician he was he was he was behaving like a like a chancellor now this was something which was very different so how i experienced that so in the initial year in the first year there were not many many teachers uh, you know uh, which were who were ready to come and join swami's uh, college because of that the classes were not being conducted so swami was swami of course being the god he knew everything he tells principal sir is that he you select good teachers for my students my students should get best education you don't worry about about uh, anybody you just select and and you you ask them to join students are not uh, practicing so he was showing his his concerns that like, you know that uh, bacche log aaye hue hain bacche log ko acha education milna chahiye and uh, so then principal sir also uh, was telling his side of story he was also saying that swami uh, uh, i should get an approval from from authorities he said you don't worry you you shortlist and you give me the names i will i will appoint them so th- this was this was the swami was being a chancellor he was going each and every integrities of of framing a curriculum for for us he made sure that we get a best education we get a best college we get a best student we get a best of everything he went to that an extent that he was he called a couple of singers and he told that this is how you should practice get up early in the morning don't practice late in the night and then uh, there were there were veena boys so uh, he one of the sessions he even uh, sang bhajan and he said he he told veena boys to uh, repeat what he's singing but then it so happened that he the veena boys were were in the learning phase so they they could not do it so sami even though they made mistakes but sami said okay good boys good very good but in the back of the mind we thought that he how unprepared were we where bhagwan himself is coming he is spending his time he wants us to be perfect he wants us to be uh, good in terms of uh, good in terms of our our subject able to sing able to play tabla able to play veena but then sami being a divine mother he patiently listened to us even though we were making mistakes he always encouraged us so going back to the interview uh, he he was telling principal sir that you don't don't worry about anybody uh, you think about my students don't worry about 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 anybody else in another interview swami is he called me and he called registrar of of the of the institute so he, in that particular session 
uh, uh, i could experience that you know how uh, you know uh, well uh, ad- administrator sami was he he said he he was actually kind of way not very happy the way things were going uh, in terms of the music college uh, curriculum so then he was saying that this should be done this should be done this should be done so i could experience swami's swami's different other side you know when swami is really not happy then 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 he really you know kind of uh, becomes very very uh, serious now swami has given lot of opportunity uh, coming to the subject of music uh, what swami has taught me so what swami taught us i would just like to share it was in uh, 2001 uh, convocation time bhagwan selected kavali program in the play instead of the convocation drama so everybody knows in 2000 uh one 911 thing happened and then the, uh, there were a lot of uncertainties globally but in that particular year swami loving decided ki you know he wants to have only kavalis not the drama so he called call sailesh sir the the music in charge bhajan in charge and uh, he calls me inside the interview room and uh, he gives him a guidance or he gives him a, a thought that this is what needs to be done and this is what you should you should be these are the number of kavalis you should be composing bhagwan was so much interested or i can say it was he was giving a divine guidance that this is how i want the kavali program to be he was the 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 director of what you can say is the director and and producer of the entire program so uh, he he said ki uh, this so the thing is he said he he used to tell sailesh sir that uh, this is how the the kavali should be uh, uh, it should this particular paragraph should be in this raga and then there should be a transition from 6 beat to 8 beat jampak tala and etc etc and then come back to to the original beat again so he he entirely you know conceptualized the 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 kavali and then he used to say ki this particular line should be extended this way yahan pe thoda swara hona chahiye yahan pe so the thing is ki mai i was sitting inside the interview room i am saying ki you know i mean such a such a divine thing is happening in front of me i have never experienced uh, you know that side of swami where 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 you know i used to think only you know swami as a as a god but then i i experienced swami as an administrator also so i saw this the love of mother in swami's eyes i saw you know the swami uh, getting little bit uh, you know you know upset on 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 administrators you know so i in i mean just to just to throw one more light uh, on on how swami was that if a chancellor wants to convey some message or a tough message to to either a registrar or or a principal he will call them separately but he will never uh, convey such messages in front of the of the students but but it, it was a different swami for swami the students were were the priority and he he always endeavored that he the, the best thing should be offered to, offered to student so during that kavali program uh, the swami uh, had graciously given us lot of opportunities of uh, doing the rehearsals in front of him by him so we used to go to kulachandra hall where swami used to recite and uh, after the morning bhajans gets over when swami used to retire instead of going to his room he used to come and and listen to our practice sessions you know so he even went to extend that he came came and saw our rehearsals uh, uh, dress rehearsals so 
so if if uh, if you see that particular photograph group photograph of kavali so uh, sami used to share a light moment with us you know he used to ask us uh, he saw one student uh, uh, having a beard and he was wearing wearing a, a kurta so sami said uh, he uh, he asked us where is osama where is osama entire world was searching searching osama and uh, he is asking us so so that particular boy he asked are you osama bin laden and then uh, he used to ha- he used to give us snacks to eat he used to say ki tum khao fir practice karo gale ko bahut strain aata hai beech mein thoda thoda break bhi le sakta hai so he was a divine uh, uh, you know director uh, uh, gave, gave us lot of chances in that particular year i got an opportunity to accompany dana gillespie uh, who is also one of the one of the very famous uh, uh, singers he is also one of the grammy award winners so the swami uh, one of the practice sessions swami came and uh, 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 to rajmata house in in, in prashant nilayam there he listens to the to the rehearsals everything got over so they had arranged for some some uh, some snacks to be to be you know uh, given to the to us and of course for swami first but swami never never ate anything swami distributed a little bit to everybody <clears throat> from his plate he did not eat anything swami went to so extent that after the practice session swami uh, told his own driver that you go and drop dana gillespie at her house he sent his own car to uh, and and drop dana gillespie wherever wherever she was uh, staying in prashant nilayam so this was the this was the love of love of bhagwan now being a part of the prashanti bhajan group we have got ample chances to sit in front of him in bhajan hall so during those days bhagwan used to sit sit inside bhajan hall and morning evening bhajans used to happen inside and then the the bhajan group boys were the lucky ones to sit in the in the front just below swami's golden throne which is there in inside the bhajan hall so swami was so involved that swami used to monitor each and every movement of of a tablist so i i was part of the the prashanti bhajan group in the form of a, of a tablist so during those days you know uh, there are different different shooties uh, you play tabla uh, yeah so this particular photo what you see Uh, this this is another episode which i will be narrating so during those days swami uh, used to see how we are playing tabla how we are changing the shruti uh, tabla tablas in the, to match the shruti of the bhajan then behind swami there used to be monitor so he used to he used to listen so uh, in depth he used to listen and and he used to kind of tell us you know this is not a perfect shruti change the tabla how we used to make a take a powder every minute moment he used to see and then then he used to ask the senior one hey how is this boy is playing is he playing okay or not uh, if he is not playing then don't allow him so he was he was kind of a divine divine teacher you know he used to expect perfection this is what he had been telling when he used to come uh, to music college also is that uh, so i will be going into that aspect uh, you know uh, after some time if what are the swami's uh, lessons for for the pe- for the people who are practicing music now bhagwan has some divine plans he we as i said ki bhagwan ke ghar mein dere par andher nahi hai so it was a silent prayer within me that i want to become a student but then i got an entry to music college but then the my real subject my real uh, academics was was doing an mba so during during my prayers to swami i had lit- written a letter to swami is it swami i want to do mba now it it so happened that in my first year itself 
one of the days one of the evenings he called registrar and he called vice chancellor inside the interview room in which i am not there he called uh, vice chancellor sir and registrar sir inside interview room and uh, he told them that this boy is from mumbai and he has completed bcom as well music college uh, he is practicing couple of hours of tabla which is sufficient for him he should do mba now after that particular interview registrar sir is coming and he is calling me and he is asking me that niranjan will you do mba in 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 the institute now the first answer was obviously yes so he said he saw me has asked us to ask you whether you would be ready to do mba and i said yes i will i'm ready to do mba uh, but then it was it was a it was a divine will that you know he has given that uh, instruction to the administrators but it was not a straight entry so if you have to do mba then uh, you have to clear the the entrance test interviews there is a group discussion and it is it is kind of one of the very toughest examinations to clear so not so good in studies uh, i do i say it yes but then registrar said inform me that you will have to appear for an entrance exam it is going to be a normal uh, uh, entry it is not going to be a straight entry so i said yes okay i will prepare prepare for it and uh, they inform swami and swami said yes okay and then he calls me inside and he said ki theek hai uh dekho uh registrar sir i have spoken to registrar sir and uh, you will be doing mba you are as well as practicing a few number of few hours there are not good teachers also it's good good that you do mba become mba good combination so this is what the bhagwan is bhagwan lovingly graced me uh, with and allowed me to do mba by the way just to inform you that it was no way possible for me to uh, get a call for interview you know for for mbc but it is divine sankalpa so the message is that bhagwan ki ghar ghar mein der hai par andher nahi hai he will he is listening to your prayers things will happen at the right time when whenever he decides when you call for your your own shots and then you expect bhagwan to do according to your thoughts it it, it does not work that way bhagwan jab chahenge tab wahi hoga tum kitna bhi koshish karo tum kitna bhi try kar lo by the by the way to become a student i student behind swami sir in brindavan during when i was in bcom i was doing my graduation so we used to go to uh, summer vacations we used to go to brindavan and stay over there and uh, pray to swami swami kuch kar do kuch swami ko what we can say ke maska marne ke liye hum log jate the so one of the days uh, that point of time i'm talking about the 1990 9 1998 1999 one of the days sami is going to super speciality where the super speciality was under construction so i ran behind sami's car and sami saw me sami gave me such a stern look sami got very angry on me and he said hey go back so i said sami okay i got really afraid because i have never got such a stern look from sami the same day i returned back to bombay and uh, i kept on praying to swami so coming back to the same point that ki bhagwan ki ghar mein der hai par andher nahi hai i started preparing for my mba entrance examination so during that particular year i could not clear the uh, uh, entrance exam uh, because in couple of papers i had really not done uh, up to the mark now it was a summer time swami was in brindavan and uh, examinations entrance examinations were in party and uh, 
वो सैड फेस लेके आई टुक दैट सैड सैड फेस टू वृंदावन एंड दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट वाज अ प्री समर कोर्स टाइम वेयर स्वामी समर कोर्स वाज अबाउट टू बिगिन एंड स्वामी हैड गॉन टू ऑडिटोरियम टू सी द द प्रिपरेशन फॉर द फॉर द समर कोर्स now i when i arrived at brindavan ashram i came to know that swami is in auditorium so i ran to auditorium i kept my luggage left the thing and there all the students are, are around swami as the one of the photos you saw where swami is sitting in the center and students are kind of surrounded by swami i was somewhere in the back side and swami immediately looks at me and he calls me that uh, hmm he he tells he is giving he is conveying my performance to me you have not done well you have not done good what do i say what do i answer to swami i said yes swami i have not done well i have not cleared the entrance exam so swami bolta hai swami swami got little bit upset he said yes i know you have not done good in two two papers i know one is english and another one more subject now he is telling vice chancellor who is just standing behind swami that he, this boy has not done done good let him appear for an entrance exam next year again so as well i was doing my music course first year i i have completed that and i will continue with my second year of music course and that I'll, parallelly i will prepare for my mb entrance exam and i will appear next year so now more sort of it was it became a situation embarrassing situation for me is that he, here the bhagwan expects me to do mba uh, come up to his expectations because he has given given uh, uh, okay or a nod so i have to somehow get the mba seat here or there i have to i prepared very very hard in in the in the second year the, the point i am trying to convey here is this more sort of it was a project for swami because because swami is he is monitoring each and everything he is he is following up with uh, uh, me he is he is inquiring with vice chancellor he is talking to to uh, to registrar sir about so the thing is ki so mujhe i had to do good and swami went to that extent that ki swami told me ki these are your he is telling my weak points also okay okay fine your english is not good so probably you have to do better you have to prepare well he said don't worry i will appoint a teacher for you that teacher will give you a training or of how to prepare for 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 entrance exam this this is this was the divine divine uh, one more grace okay, he kind of uh, appointed a teacher uh, who is who is a very senior senior uh, professor as on date he is still there and uh, uh, he still remembers me that niranjan you are the student where 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 sami was more interested in in you doing mba than you i said yes i mean it is it is only sami's grace so second year i did extremely okay i could clear the the exam interviews everything and i got a seat in mba i i came to i i immediately came and i wrote a letter to sami sami mba seat mil gaya sami said okay okay manchi di manchi di very good sami is very happy very good that was a time where sami started going physically away from me he started interacting less sami uh <clears throat> sami was kind of you know uh the what they call it as a going out of form somewhere it, it within me pinched me you know ki the the time what i had in in, in my initial two years in music college and now i am doing mba sami is kind of distancing himself he is not talking to me but then the message what he was trying during mba days he was trying to convey to me is that when you have come here to do mba your entire focus should be in your studies pehle do saal bahut 
इंजॉय कर लिया सामी ने बहुत चांसेस दिया बिकॉज दो सर बींग लाइटर ईयर्स म्यूजिक कॉलेज में इतना कुछ आई मीन प्रैक्टिस और एकेडमिक्स इतना डिफिकल्ट नहीं होता है जितना एम बी ए में होता है एंड एंड जस्ट टू प्रैक्टिकली ऑल्सो आई हैव टू ईयर्स गैप इन स्टडीज बिकॉज आफ्टर बिकॉम टू ईयर्स आई वॉज डूइंग म्यूजिक एंड आई वॉज अवे फ्रॉम माई एकेडमिक्स तो सामी रियली यू नो इट वॉज अ टफ टाइम पीरियड बट इट इट वॉज इट वॉज अ टाइम पीरियड वेर आई हैव टू मोल्ड माई सेल्फ फ्रॉम अ प्लीज एक्सपेक्टेशन कि इफ यू आर डूइंग एन एम बी ए the mba is a, is a is a is a course where you have to develop your other skills you have to be good in studies you have to be good in in building up your your skills of management if had it been a uh, had it been a situation where where i am more close to swami where swami is paying more attention to me he expects me to be uh, you know coming to mandir uh, do we spend more time in mandir or other activities so then probably my mind would have got diverted from academics to to uh, in having a enjoying a proximity of swami but swami didn't want me didn't want that swami wanted me to focus on studies and that's what he did it was not that he swami didn't talk to me or it was literally overdid me i had a very very bad time but there was there was a what time i had in my initial two years were were the the one of the blessed time now just to highlight couple of my experiences of how perfectionist swami was being part of the of the music group have having performed so many programs uh, uh, or bhajan sessions in front of him it it happened in 2006 that swami selected two boys and a music group he formed a music group to practice for couple of songs as well as the ramakatha ramakatha swami used to be very fond of swami would have would have heard a year on year from different different students like there uh, there is normally a two pair of uh, students uh, appearing as a as a love kusha uh, wearing a traditional dress doing a makeup and wearing that uh, traditional uh, dress and they they sing ramakatha so during that particular year also two uh, two students were being selected by swami and swami used to graciously bless them uh, or bless us by coming every day to institute auditorium to listen to our practice sessions now it happened one week two week three weeks the practice sessions are going on and more sort of it became a fix program is that in <clears throat> and just to tell you every day when swami used to come you know, swami used to kind of uh, you know give lot of share lot of ideas this is how you should be singing this is how you should be playing this is how you should be uh, you know uh, sitting so he even conceptualized the entire uh, stage appearance uh, so but ultimately he was not communicating to us that he what exactly is going on in his mind we were just kind of preparing preparing presenting presenting and just to tell you ram katha was was a was a such a blissful things to observe when swami used to listen <clears throat> each and every line each and every dialogue of ram katha swami used to enjoy and there were certain emotional moments also where where <clears throat> we we saw swami uh, you know getting more emotional and uh, uh, there used to be tears in his eyes because he was directly relating his because he himself was rama in that birth so he was really feeling so connected and he used to be so sometimes he used to be so happy you know uh, he is still so happy i am you boys are singing very good and ultimately in uh, some senior person of the music group he went and asked swami swami are you happy swami are we uh, uh, performing well so then swami said yes 
now you people are perfect swami is giving opportunity in guru purnima you people prepare uh, get ready for a guru purnima program so we went to that extent that on that particular day when in the evening the performance was there swami called the makeup boys inside the interview room and and told called those two boys who were about to sing and swami himself saw how they were getting getting ready uh, our unka makeup kaise ho raha tha swami khud unke samne ho raha tha so swami ne bola tha thoda aur aisa hona chahiye thoda aise hona chahiye so he was a divine director he was a he was a originator the point i was trying to convey here is that he swami is a divine perfectionist till till the time you are not perfect he will not give you that opportunity to represent him or his swami used to be feeling proud conveying to the to the world that my students are my property and when as a as a music boys we are presenting in in kulwantal he used to expect that perfection in us and that is why he was patiently coming every day hours and hours there are thousands of devotees who are waiting in kulwantal for to get his darshan he used to finish darshan and then he used to come to institute and he used to return back before bhajan time one hour one and a half hours he used to be just be amongst us so we got that opportunity of enjoying his proximity his presence divine guidance and that made us perfect also so there were lot of instances where swami blessed us as a divine guru he was of course about that he was a divine mother but then would like to relate certain experiences of us when swami used to come to music college so in one of the photographs where uh, you will see that swami is playing tabla uh, yeah so you see uh, swami used to come and he used to encourage us so there there used to be a you know music group music team uh, there were different subjects like tabla uh, hindustani vocal carnatic vocal and veena sitar swami used to tell us that you, if you practice well swami give you an opportunity during navaratri to perform in sai kulwant hall there used to be a prashanti vidwan mahasabha every every year where uh, there used to be a, a, a talks and discourses uh, and then there used to be a evening programs cultural programs where the musicians will come and they will they will get an opportunity so during the one of the practice sessions swami came in uh, to music college so then you know we had prepared a 15 to 20 minutes uh, tabla presentation tabla recital so after the so there was a veena program recital and tabla recital so uh, if you see the first photograph uh, there is a small boy Uh, setting in 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 playing tabla so that boy had uh, performed uh, he was also part of the uh, the presenters to swami so swami everything gets over and swami is really very happy swami said keep banchiri manchiri very happy practice more he really gave us a, a lot of encouragement and that really motivated us to you know ki uh, with the thought that he will get an opportunity to you know perform in kulwant hall Uh, so sami while leaving he comes to this boy and he leans down uh, as you see and he started playing tabla now uh, he started teaching the basics of tabla to uh, this young lucky boy and uh, he said ki uh, he he told this particular boy that ki when you are playing your fingering is not uh, perfect you should be you should be practicing to improve your fingering first if your fingering fingers are placed at a proper place then the sound will be better and he technically even explained that ki jo tumhari chati hai wo chati barobar nahi baj rahi hai to tum chati pe dhyan do tumhara haath galat jagah pe bajta hai uske liye sound barobar nahi aata hai so he said ki when you are playing your hand is uh, uh, your fingers are Uh, getting uh, uh, played at a wrong place so output is not correct so practice well so sami ne khud baja ke dikhaya itna pyar diya hum log we were just thinking that uh, you know ki 
I mean, this tabla is so lucky that Swami has played with his own hands. You know, uh, the, so Swami, when first came, when Swami uh, started narrating this, uh, explaining this, so Swami bent away. He he leaned down. Then uh, then we 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 thought that you know, that Swami go back back uh, pain will happen. So we lifted the tabla and then then Swami uh, told, okay, this is how you should you should be practicing. So the 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 story is that. the bhagwan went to that extent to teach us tabla he was a divine guru he he did not he did not blast at a teacher ki you are not teaching well but then he himself became our teacher he himself became our tabla teacher and he taught us this lessons you know so in one of the interviews in the initial uh, years uh, then i had an opportunity of sitting uh, below uh, at his at his lotus feet i told swami swami uh, when i am practicing tabla my hands are paining uh, my my right hand is paining i'm going like, okay okay uh, swami open opens my button he lifts he lifts my uh, shirt uh, and then he rubs it nothing will happen Uh, things will be all right so it used to be like you know a lot of experiences where he has personally motivated us guided us as a as a divine teacher so in 2000 just going back again to you know how swami uh, gave us a divine guidance and uh, Uh, teachings on music it was 2006 march 2006 where swami suddenly developed a lot of love from mirabai and uh, he selected couple of students uh, to uh, you know practice for mira bhajans so very famous bhajans was payo ji maine rama ratan dhan payo and mere to girdhar gopal dusro na koi so this were the the couple of songs where where swami told couple of singers uh, of music college to practice well and uh, perform uh, in pulwant hall so they presented and that became a group mini group kind of a thing and swami really started uh, focusing a more on 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 the divinity aspect of mirabai and then he used to we had lot of personal sessions with uh, with uh, swami as as i said that he during kavali time also swami gave lot of time during guru purnima time ram kada time also swami gave lot of time but then swami also loves sharing his thought about his, his devotees he he said ki mirabai ka bhakti mirabai's devotion was far apart i mean she is one of the good devotees of 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 bhagwan swami used to tell swami used to tell about ms subalakshmi swami used to used to get emotional many times when by taking devotee's name he used to tell us ms subalakshmi such a pious lady lot of devotion for bhagwan he didn't sing she didn't sing for money she sang for god भगवान के लिए गाते था एम एस बलक्ष्मी सो वी यूज टू आस्क सो ड्यूरिंग दोज इंटरक्शन विद स्वामी वी यूज टू कैंड ऑफ यू नो आस्क लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू हिम विद स्वामी हाउ वी शुड इम्प्रूव अपॉन हाउ वी कैन यू नो कम अप टू यूर एक्सपेक्टेशन तो कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन वॉट वी आर टू स्वामी स्वामी हाउ हाउ टू प्रैक्टिस वेल So Swami, his answer was that just be in discipline all the time, and you should you should be uh, and he used to tell us the time. This is the time you should practice. He, so he used to tell singers, "Hey, you lack ko bara bara baje tak practice karta hai. Next day morning ko gala bed jata hai. Get up early in the morning and do practice. Raat ko jaldi so jao and sabere jaldi utke practice karo." स्वरास प्रैक्टिस करो 
and he used to be very fond of uh, swar alankars and he used to really like students singing that and he used to focus a lot on that <clears throat> in one of the good thing you know uh, uh, what sami told to singers is that when you are singing you should also sing softly and with bhava he said ki if you are just singing and without bhava it does not touch the heart if it is not touching your heart it is it is it is artificial singing focus focus while singing you should sing with bhava that that should portray the softness of of the of the wordings or or the or the tune what you are singing and sing sim he also told simplicity sing with with simplicity so during one of the one of the interactions with swami uh, you know uh, he told me the, me I, i was the out of out of singers list i was always be on the on the rhythm side so he he was asking some other student that how is this person how is he this boy is playing tabla so he said yes swami swami is playing very good he said ki no no bahut show off karta hai so he said uh, ki speed aata hai speed se bajata hai but bahut loud bajata hai loud bajata hai to usme usme feeling nahi aata hai uh, he said that ki baju wala kya bolta hai just to uh, i will also translate in english ki baju wala kya bolta hai वाह वाह करता है उसके ऊपर ज्यादा ध्यान है खुद के लिए नहीं बजाता है ही इज नॉट प्लेइंग फॉर हिमसेल्फ वट अदर्स इज से टेलिंग हिम ऑन दैट ही इज अ मोर फोकस ही इज प्लेइंग विद लॉट ऑफ स्पीड ही इज प्लेइंग विद फोकस ऑन लाउडनेस बट देन फॉर सॉन्ग फॉर फॉर टू बिकम अ बेटर परफॉर्मर you should be able to convey through emotions you should be able to convey simply you should be able to convey through softness also and that will come through bhava and one of the greatest lessons what he taught me is that you play for yourself not for others baju wale wah wah karte hai uske par zyada dhyan hai this is what exactly happens okay when you when you have some talent when you have something good in you you want people to appreciate your talent and then in that stream you forget your own happiness you should be able to enjoy your own music you should be able to enjoy your own singing you should satisfy yourself first and then automatically others will get satisfied if you sing with bhava it is ultimately going to reach him and in that process when you singing with bhava the other people the other listeners also get connected with 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 god <clears throat> so during one of the uh, fashion sessions what for me what i can say is that the bhagwan when he is is re- upset he is really upset which is something painful to see and and to feel that he we made swami unhappy so in one of the uh, one of the interaction uh, we asked swami that swami how to improve quality so how can how can we improve quality so swami lovingly said is that ki discipline hone se quality aata hai if you have discipline you will get a quality and how will we get a quality is that the first you should have self confidence in yourself if you are not confident in yourself then you will not have a self satisfaction the problem is within you khud mein confidence nahi hai to kya ho sakta hai what what can be done if you don't have confidence in yourself if you have if you built up self confidence it will lead you to self satisfaction and and self satisfaction ke baad aata hai self realization 
self sacrifice and then self realization this was the spiritual message what swami wanted to convey to us is that he must have confidence in yourself and have discipline in yourself and if you if you have discipline in yourself the automatically success will come many times you know it happens that <clears throat> when we are in the learning phase learning phase is always tough uh, and we have seen through our school days that you know exam hai to thoda tension zyada aa jata hai but then if you prepare well since day one then exam days does not become become difficult so we always tend to have a easy way out thing get easy way out you know smoothly aisa nahi hota hai it it never happens and for that we need to do a self introspection if we do a self introspection then we will come to know that where we are going wrong and connect with swami's message of discipline bhava sing with bhava focus on softness white loudness white loudness have simplicity in everything it will reach him so during one of those sessions swami literally sang those lines mere to girdar gopal how to sing that particular line payo ji maine ram dratan dana payo i will not be able to you know convey through my singing but i can convey through my feelings that this is what swami used to tell all of us <clears throat> so i believe that uh, whatever i have spoken today is my humble offering to swami and uh, and just to sum it up i mean i could just say that ki swami has given us the proximity and through that proximity <clears throat> he has taught us lot of given us lot of messages and he has lived his life conveying all these messages to us that is why i said he his life swami used to say my life is my message so if we say that if swami has given lot of time to us swami has taken so much pain swami has paid paid us so much attention swami we enjoyed swami's proximity so that his life becomes our message and the same message if we communicate to everybody it is it is direct connection with swami bhagwan ne har tarike se har har mode pe humko correct kiya hua hai har har mode pe hum log ko as a divine guru divine mother divine administrator divine friend we had a very very good time with swami So we 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 can call him as a as a uh, good friend. Beyond that, he is our divine mother. But if you pray with a deep deep heart, he really listens even today. But उसके लिए भगवान के लिए yearning होना चाहिए. We should have a desire for God. If you don't have a desire, then then भगवान if the message will not reach him. He he was the first. chancellor you know of the of the university who has studied uh, who has who knows each and everything about every student in none of the universities it will happen you you go to any university the chancellor will know only 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 limited things but he was a divine chancellor he was a divine perfectionist and over and above that he was he was a, he was a caring mother he was he was he was so much concerned about our academics He was so much concerned about about my MBA. He was so much concerned about about the music college students where he should get a best. They should get a best teachers. He, he used to tell my students should get a best food. अच्छा खाना मिलना चाहिए. So, who? God 
has lived his life just to convey is that he he bhagwan tumhare liye hi hai he has given so much attention at the same point of time he was a divine teacher also that he has he was a sharp observer of everything he used to kind of uh, observe everything how we are playing how we are singing he used to correct on many places so basically what we should believe we should believe in complete surrender surrender to him pray to him follow his messages and he will we should be able to make him happy <clears throat> uh with this words i would like to offer my prayers to swami and i thank you everybody for for your patient listening and uh, if any thing i would have communicated which is not conveyed in a proper direction or if any doubt or any clarifications is needed please let me know i am always ready to convey the message of swami with this i thank you everybody for the time thank you so very much uh, like always there is a message which keeps reiterating reiterating that first you should have the yearning then there should be the prayer and then there should be the surrender to accept what he gives but nothing starts without yearning and that is how you conveyed that yearning to be a student it manifested in its own way it led you to study what you were destined to study but everywhere there was a yearning to to be with him to uh, just being with him itself is education i think right i mean more than anything else that you've got just being with swami has been education and uh, and uh, and the beautiful points about singing the need for simplicity to convey the bhavam required for for what you're you're trying to communicate through music very aptly said and uh, much needed when uh, there is this self affirmation that we need in various ways to feel that you are appreciated or you are good in today's context when the connection should be just closing your eyes when when you enjoy it and you know that you are singing or you are playing to your best that helps you connect through the music to him i think that is his way of saying va acha to kya hai you know so i guess that's a beautiful uh, message that uh, came in today Uh, much needed for many of us and uh, value this uh, time that you have spent and uh, and everyone's journey to swami has been unique from the walking group that started with your father to to your walking into prashanti and playing for many masters in that process uh, but above all playing for swami in his august presence and enjoying the bliss of seeing him watch you play with that thank you gratitude is a small word and as always i have no idea who the speaker for next week is he knows when he wills and he lets me know i shall let you all know please do join next sunday same time until then we shall finish off praying with samasta loka samasta loka sukino bhavantu समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवंतु समस्त लोका सुखिनो भवंतु ओम शांति 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 जय बोलो भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा जी की जय Sairam 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 to all Sairam 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 S